After World War II, housing scarcity was a major challenge for Detroit, Michigan, as new construction did not keep pace with the increasing population, and residential segregation created dangerous slums. Black families were banned from most public housing, restricted to overcrowded neighborhoods, and often forced to pay higher rents to live in dilapidated homes without indoor plumbing. They also faced hostility from the local Ku Klux Klan, police, and groups of white workers. In June 1941, Detroit policymakers approved plans to build the Sojourner Truth Homes, a public housing project for African Americans located in a white neighborhood. Over protests from local white people, construction was completed that year, and the city authorized black families to move in starting February 28, 1942. One day before, growing crowds of local white people marched through the housing project. On move-in day, February 28, 1942, black families attempted to move into their new homes in Detroit but were met with violence and intimidation from the white mob. Some were struck with rocks and other objects. Police responded by halting the moves and arresting more than 200 black people that were simply trying to move in while only arresting three whites from the mob. The new residents were displaced until April when six black families moved in under the protection of 2,000 city and state officials.